Hi Jess. I liked your Dutch Heritage video on Monday. My family also celebrated Sinterklaas and my mom would find our shoes and put them by our bed on the windowsill and she would always put a little piece of candy or a toy and then also an orange into our shoes. So that was always really fun. Unfortunately, as we got older, uh, I remember that we sort of forgot uh, what day it was going to be and we would wake up on December 6th and just say, hey, mom, I can't find my shoe. Where'd it go? And she'd say, um, check your windowsill. And we'd be like, oh, thanks, mom. <laughs> but I remember it being a really fun tradition and it's definitely something that I want to do with my kids someday. I am definitely part of the camp that does not fully appreciate the black licorice flavor. I just don't really like it. But kudos to you for sharing our Dutch heritage with your students. I think that's really fun. So Jess, over here in the Potter household, it's been a really busy week. Uh, Aaron has show week, of course, which means he is out in Kalamazoo very late at night um, doing practices for the play. And I've been working a lot so far. Um, I've been opening really early. And so what's been happening is I wake up at 5, leave at 6, and then he gets up from bed and gets ready for work. And then I go to bed at night and then he comes back. <laughs> so we haven't really seen much of each other. And I'm just really tired, to be honest, um, just because of the long hours and it's pretty cold outside. And so once I got home, I cozied up with this sweatshirt. Ooh, my pizza rolls are ready. <laughs> I made pizza rolls. I put on some fuzzy socks, and ooh, I made one of my favorite hot drinks. You may think that it's coffee. It is not, actually. It's something called chider, which I make by putting cider and this Oregon chai mix together and heating it up, and it's delicious. Mmm, it's a great fall drink. I don't know if you know this about me, but I really, really appreciate chai. I think it tastes so good. I don't love chai tea that much, which is kind of weird, but I really like chai tea lattes, and I love a pumpkin spice latte with chai. Almost better, I think, than I like a pumpkin spice latte, which may sound a little weird. <laughs> so anyway, I've also been a little busy because I'm doing a lot of stuff at church. I am leading the Thanksgiving service, so I have to plan that, put that together, set up practice uh, for that. I am organizing a children's program, and I am working on um, decorating. So... Uh, decorating for Thanksgiving is done, but then very soon comes Advent, which is a pretty huge decorating season. So I'm get, working on getting that lined up. And that means I've been writing a lot of emails, which I don't really love to do, um, but I've had to do a lot of it. I don't know, Jess, do you feel like email etiquette is one of those things that you have to learn as an adult, like I was talking about earlier? You just kind of have to do it until you know how. I know that emailing a professor in college was always a little scary. And also, I was always unsure, like, how do I start this? You know, what do I say? And I still wonder that sometimes, um, especially when I'm addressing a group or certain people, especially if I don't know them very well. Um, but as I was answering a lot of emails yesterday, I sort of found myself doing this thing a lot of just being honest, <laughs> which sounds like, a pretty easy thing to do, right? But I feel like when I'm writing emails, especially since I'm usually writing to people older than me, I want to sound really professional and I want to phrase things just so. But I just started, I was tired, you know, and I just started writing things, you know, this is how I feel about this or I'm a little nervous about that so I, can, I would appreciate some help or, you know, I really don't know how this works so can somebody please tell me or can I get some feedback about this? Then... And, you know, it's just nice. And surprise, surprise, it actually feels nice and easy. And I think it helps a lot with um, establishing contacts with people and just getting to know them and letting them know you. So that's another part of adulting that I'm sort of learning the ropes on. <laughs>
Well, I've been rambling for a while now, and I think I have enough to make a video, so I guess that's it. I love you so, so much, Jess. I'm so excited for Thanksgiving, and I hope that I will see you very soon. But before then, I will see you on Monday. Bye!